Hi, this is me, Samora, a creative who is looking forward to the summer. Enjoying the sun, wearing nice clothing, but to be honest, I don't really like what I got. It's too big, too small, or not really my style. So I decided to do it differently this year. I'm gonna make my own summer wardrobe with almost no sewing experience. Hey there, I'm on a little holiday uh, with my beard and I brought my sewing machine because it's already quite an addiction and I brought some fabrics but no patterns so I'm gonna try to make my own dress pattern today with a YouTube video and see if I can make a dress. Hi yes. I can hear you thinking, making a pattern as a beginner, that's quite a thing. And I was thinking the same, but my fingers were itching to get start sewing this holiday and I didn't want to make scrunchies. And I will not make this into a tutorial because I'm quite winging it myself. But I would love to give the tip if you're also following this YouTube video to just draw it out on the paper first. I got the pattern done. I think it's correct. I'm quite proud that it worked out. I think the pattern making took me around two hours, but she explains it really well. So I think if I can do it, you can do it as well, because my math sucks and also my logical thinking. <laughs> I brought the fabric that I bought a while ago with my mom on the fabric market. It's really soft. The best thing about this place is that there are so many squirrels around and I do love squirrels. So there are also a lot of squirrels in this video. Squirrel. I dare you to count how many there are and uh, comment below. So I cut out two times the pattern and now it's time to make the darts so it would fit nicely. I'm not talking about these kind of darts. I think you can use them to pin them in your body and make your clothes more fitting. But I'm talking about these darts, a little bit less hurtful. A dart is a very structured way to change the form of a flat piece of fabric. Darts are wedge-shaped sections of fabric that are folded out and stitched together to remove excess fabric and create a three-dimensional strip. So now you get it, right? Yeah, I didn't either. Uh, she told in the video that you have to make your darts bigger if you have bigger boobies, but not how much bigger. So I decided the most logical thing to do was taking my age of my boobies. They are 28 years old, so I made my darts 2.8 centimeters. And then it was finally time to get to the sewing machine and make those darts. I learned after making this dress that if you make a dart you don't make a knot, not make a knot because otherwise you make it into a pointy dart, so make a knot after by hand. Can you tie a knot? Uh, I cannot. Ah, so you can knot? No, uh, I cannot knot. Knot knot? Who's there? After fitting the oldies in it and... Being quite happy with it, I did the same with the underlining. And here we are at the most challenging part for me of making this dress. Cutting the straps. Straps are done, they're straight, they're thin, and they're looking good. It's finally time that I can connect the two sides of the top together and add the straps. I'm a bit scared that it's too small in the back, but I'm not sure. Good morning. 
Uh, yesterday I quit when I was done with the top. Today I'm gonna try to make the skirt and combine the two and then we will have a dress. Here we are again on the point where you don't make a knot so you can gather the fabric into some ruffles. This is a technique where you pull the thread lightly to create the ruffles. There are ruffles in it! <laughs> and for the back of the skirt I'm not making ruffles, but I'm putting some elastic in it, so that's a bit simpler. I'm just making a tunnel and putting the elastic through it as a little snake in his new skin. is done but I don't know if you can tell but it looks really big yeah and it feels like it's getting bigger and bigger because the rubbles are getting out when I saw this squirrel eating it reminded me that I need some food and a break myself so we made the table and had some lunch we invited the squirrels as well, of course, but sadly they didn't come. And are you still keeping count of how many squirrels you have seen in this video? And here we are, back to the problem of the skirt being too big. But of course, I had a plan. So I'm gonna try to put this a bit more ruffle inside the top. That looks easy peasy, right? If you don't get it, here's a better explanation. I just pinned it. Uh, the beginning and the end and then the middle, the middle out of the middle, the middle out of that middle and the middle out of that middle again. Safety goggles on. Okay, I did a quick fitting and it works. My skirt is not too big anymore, quite happy. <laughs> the only thing I had to do left was making a hem. Then it was almost time to scream it into the woods that I made my first dress. Hey there. You wanna see what I'm wearing? 